Hey everyone, this is Dion and welcome to my channel 901 Cravens and today I'm going to show you how to paint your dipped strawberries gold. Now as you can see my berries are already dipped but I will be doing a separate video soon on which chocolate I use and how I dip my berries. A few items we need of course to dip berries. You're also, you're also going to need a small bowl, a brush that's made for painting on food products, imperial gold luster dust as you can see hopefully camera will focus <laughs> and a small cap of vodka to help paint it and so now you're probably wondering why am i using vodka well that's because if you use water with luster dust it becomes too thin to paint with vodka rose spirit and lemon juice, which are acidic based products, help create a thick paste in order for you to be able to paint with. And also, acidic base helps it dry faster. If you use water with, with the luster dust and try to paint, you will have a thin solution on the berries and it will take forever to dry. And for today's berries, we are using Imperial Gold which is the best luster dust to paint with to get a solid gold coat. You have other golds like Spanish gold and King's gold and Fool's gold and many different golds. If you try to paint with them, they don't leave as a thick and shiny coat as Imperial Gold. Imperial Gold is the best one to use. It can be a little pricey now, but it is the best one. And if you're wondering where you can order luster dust, you can, you can order it online. Or whatever city you live in, you can go to your local bake shop and they'll probably have it in stock. For me, since I live in Memphis, Tennessee, my local bake shop is Mary Carter's, which is located off of Summer Avenue and White Station. Our paste mixture to paint with. Now, when it comes to creating the paint, you, then, you take your time pouring in the vodka. If you just dump it in, it will become extremely runny and that is not what you want. You take your time pouring it in because you want to form a paste. Not a watery solution, but a paste. See? And you just start to slowly mix it up. You pull in from the walls. Keep going back and forth. And it's like I said, you take your time mixing it. And you see how it's starting to turn into a paste? That is what you want. Uh, let me add just a little bit more. Just a little. And I will call that good. So now let's look and see how it looks on the paintbrush. As you can see, get it to focus. Nice, thick paste. And so now that our paint mixture is ready, let's get to painting our berries. Now I did forget to mention one thing. Luster dust is completely edible. It is edible. And if you're wondering why I don't put on gloves now, two reasons. It's a food product. So, you know, I don't want to touch it with my bare hands. And then two, Painting with luster dust can get extremely messy. It can get everywhere. It can fling while you're painting and stroking. So it's best to protect your hands because once it gets on there, you know, your hands will be a little bling bling for a little minute until you wash it off. Okay, and let's get to painting. Now when painting, you want to do, try to get as many long strokes in as you can 
long, consistent strokes, you know, and use both sides of the brush because you have gold paint on both sides. Now, usually depending on how you make up your paste mixture, if you make it too thin, you'll end up having to do more than one coat or you can just add more luster dust to thicken it up. Dab a little bit more. Make sure you paint that backside. You get it good. As you can see. Nice, even, continuous strokes. And I would call that a good coat. Now, if you see what I'm doing, I am using a toothpick to help hold the berry. A lot of people, I guess because they have the fingers or the, or the nails for it, they will try to hold it by the stem. But then again, that makes it extremely hard to hold and, and to paint with, and you can end up dropping the berry. So it's best to just stick a toothpick in it, grab it by the toothpick, and paint. Sorry, I got a little off camera right there. I was trying to make sure that I got that underside good. See? As you can see, these berries are all painted. Now what I'm about to do with these three berries are I'm about to paint these lines, the, the stripes I made, gold, okay? Now usually you can use a smaller brush than this size for this, but since these are thick lines, you can go ahead and use this brush and I'll show you how to do that. So dab your brush again and your solution. And now don't make the mistake of trying to, of trying to paint it long ways like that or you're going to really get it all over the blank spots of the berry, the white berry. I'm just trying to paint the line. So what you would do is you would just paint it going down to coat it. Like I said, remember, use both sides of the brush. Now you will get some on the uh, white part, and but it's really okay as long as you as long as you don't just completely just go over the white part. Just make sure you try to stay on the stripe as much as you can. And there we go. Touch up this corner really quick. And so now. Quick tip, if you ever see that your paste is starting to get a little thick, which, which means it's trying to dry up some, all you do is you just add a little bit of vodka back to it to help loosen it up, and you're good. 
Okay, and now to really make these berries pop even more, it's time to use something special. And that special thing is disco dust. And if you're wondering what disco dust is, disco dust is edible glitter. Nothing more than edible glitter. You use disco dust if you want to bring a certain, as you can say, shine or color to whatever treat you're making. Because disco dust can also either enhance the color or it can actually change the color of something by blending in whatever color the treat is. It is multiple ways that you can apply disco dust. That's by using a brush, shaking it right out of the jar that it comes in using a good old disco dust shaker or you can use a pump i prefer to use the shaker because it's more controlled you got two sides to it you get the flat side where you just shake straight down and you have the long side where you shake going across and for these we're going to shake going across as you can see, the berries in the back are already covered with disco dust. That's because since those were plain white, I went ahead and just covered those and uh, while I painted these. And so now, let's show you how, how to apply it. You take it and you just either tap it or shake it. Me, I prefer to use a controlled tap. And as you can see, Disco Dust has like went, as you can see everywhere on the parchment paper. All you do is you fold it up and you just pour it back in. That's all. It helps preserve it because Disco Dust costs about almost $5 a jar and the jars are only about that big. And I would say that those are good. Let me bring this up in camera a little bit more. And you see the sparkle. The disco dust I use right now is known as hologram gold. You get more solid golds. I like to use hologram golds because of the color effect that uh, that it gives. Do another one. See. Okay guys, and here we go. All packaged and ready to go in the box. Now, like I said, I get all of my supplies from Mary Carter's here in Memphis, Tennessee. I will post a link to the website in the description box below, okay? Now, as some of you can probably tell, this is my very first YouTube video. I was a little nervous about doing it, but I'm glad that I did it and I'm proud of it. I hope you all enjoyed the information that I had to share today, and I hope you enjoy watching the video. I plan on posting more content soon to come. I plan on trying to post at least twice a week. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and be prepared for a very, very delicious ride. I plan on posting different recipes that I know, different sweets, treats, cakes, desserts, Different reviews of different food items, food vlogs, going going to different restaurants, giving my opinion. It's going to be a nice journey, and I hope you tag along. Thank you, and have a nice day.